Today we're going to add a Power App to Power BI. We'll start by adding another table to this existing table and put it next to it. And we'll add the fields we want in our app to this table so we can just see what's happening here. Then we just make it into a Power App by selecting Power Apps. And we create a new one. This is this gallery that comes with it. We don't need that. We need that Power BI integration there. So we're going to add our own labels to this screen. Take the first one. It's a fairly straightforward process. There we go, we've whisked forward a little bit. And we're going to add a button. This this is going to be our, our submit button. And, and that text input box is going to be where we allow people to put some comments in. We'll save it. Now you'll notice that the the screen size is um, is for a mobile phone and um, this is something that we're going to address in a moment but we'll just check to make sure that we're getting things up in our power app I'm going to publish it as you can see it's not very attractive, but it is there. And it is selecting. We can click on things and they are selecting in the Power App. So we have context being passed. Now the next step is to make our Power App the right shape, a little more attractive. Now what we're doing here is, is we're 
exporting it to disk and we're gonna open up that power app and have a little look inside of it and to do that we're gonna it's actually a zip file so we're gonna change the extension to ra and use the WinRAR app to edit it. There we go. And we'll extract the properties.json file in our folder and we're going to edit it. There it is right there. We're going to open it with code. And this is a fairly simple piece of JSON. Um, and we can see the problem there is the document app type is phone. So we'll change that to desktop or tablet. And we'll change, no, we'll change the document height, make it squarish, and then we'll drop it back into the RAR file. Then we just rename our RAR file back into MS App. I just notice we do take copies all the time here, just in case. Um, and then open that file that we've we've just updated. And it's a little bit of a mess, but we're going to fix that up. And look, we'll fast forward through that bit maybe and um, get things in the right place. Do a little save and make sure we've so we've had the same Power BI open and edit in the in the in the browser all the time. So we're just going to refresh this, and it's not quite right. But there we go, and we can fix that. Now the other thing we need to fix here is um, is we need better field names, and um, obviously you'd you'd add some file headings as well. Rename a few things there. And 
And the next stage is to add a flow. We won't do that in this video. Thank you for watching.